Before we move on to cutting the radiating element and the radials, I wanted to show you how I calculated the, the lengths. This is not rocket science, but for some it's difficult to understand. And I don't use a standard formula, I just use uh, common measurements. So, first of all, the speed of light is approximately 186,000 miles a second. And, and to get the number of feet in that, it's 186,000 times 5,280 5, feet, so it's 982,080,000 feet per second. So this antenna we're making is going to be for the, or the target frequency is going to be 445 megahertz, or 445 million cycles per second. So if we took the number of feet in a second that light travels, 982,080,000, and divided it by 445 million, we come up with 2.207 feet, and that's equal to one wavelength. So the antenna we're building is a quarter wavelength, so we're going to take that 2.207 and divide it by 4, and it gives us 0.552 feet. So that equals one quarter wavelength. So now we're going to take it and put that into inches. So 0.552 times 12 equals 6.62 inches. That's going to be the length of our ground radials because they are slightly longer than the radiating element. And I did tell you the truth, I don't know why. I've never uh, even made them as short as the radiating element. I've just always used this rule. So um, electricity or the, the wavelength traveling down the radiating element does not travel at the speed of light. It travels at something slower than the speed of light. So I'm going to use 95%. So if we took 6.62 inches times 95%, we get 6.28 inches. So that's a quarter wavelength for the radiating element. And that's about six and a quarter inches. Let me move this camera here a little bit. Okay, so here's, here's kind of a diagram of the antenna and I'll compare it to the real thing. So I'm measuring, this is, this is the, the sleeve, this is, these parts here are, you know, the main part of the PL259 and that adapter sleeve. So from the top of the adapter sleeve to the top of the radiating element, from here to here is six and a quarter inches. Then if we put the ground radials on, we want to actually measure not from where the ground radial starts here, but actually from where the antenna starts. So from here to the end of the radial, so from here to here, is about six and five eighths. So that's the length that I cut these two for this particular antenna, and I'll go ahead and go through that process now. I've got a brass rod here that's um, long enough for this antenna. In fact, it's a little bit long. And I've filed down the end here a little bit so that it'll actually fit into this PL259 end. And I'm going to put it in this direction and solder it in place. But I want to make sure that it's held in, in position here. So I'm just going to take a shop towel and wrap it around here until it's about the right diameter to fit into this connector which will hold it in the center temporarily. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do now is to solder it in place. I'm going to put a little liquid flux on this end here.
keep it from um, oxidizing as I solder. And I'm going to use a large soldering gun here so that it really heats it up. It heats it up quickly. That should do it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do, now that it's in the center, I'm going to go ahead and use a, a sleeve like a reducer sleeve that you would use for RG58 mini coax but I'm gonna go ahead and put some insulation between the radiating element and this and I'm gonna use two pieces of insulation to do that and you'll see here in just a moment I've cut two pieces of wire and I've these are like small pieces of coax, one smaller than the other. And I've actually taken the coax out. So now the first one just about fits this element. I've lubed that up a little bit. The second one will fit over and slide over it. Okay, I've slid one over the other. So now the next thing, so I'm going to go ahead and insert this sleeve in here and screw it in place. And then the insulation goes in. I want to make sure it's all the way down there. Okay. Next thing to do is to cut that off. Cut off the excess anyway. And I'll seal that with silicone here after a little bit. Next thing is to cut this to length. So this one's going to be about six and a quarter inches. I'm just going to mark it with Sharpie here at six and a quarter. And cut it off with a hacksaw. Flatten the end just a little bit, take off any burrs. And I'm also going to radius the corners a little bit. And I don't have a ball on the end of this like you'd normally see, like a Corona ball, so I don't want to get stuck by this. And I do have some little vinyl caps. So I'll stick a little vinyl cap on there. Okay, so there is a 440 radiating element. Let's try the, the ground radio adapter. Okay, now I have to make the ground radials. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and seal this top of the uh, PL259 with some silicone. 
I'm just going to put a little bit all the way around. That's not real even. I'm going to wet my finger, I'm just licking it. And then I'm going to rotate this around to get off the excess. So all it has now is a, a layer. That's what the shop towels were. So now it's sealed. So when that dries, you can see that it's now sealed at the top. I've gone ahead and uh, put this brass rod in the vise here with these rubber jaws so I don't ruin the surface of it. And I've left it long. First thing I'm going to do is thread some 632 threads on the end of this eighth inch brass rod so it can go into the ground radial adapter. I do this first just in case I mess up before I cut it. It's probably about enough. It doesn't take much. That might even be a little long. But I'll go ahead and file into that a little bit. radius it now all to do is cut it to length okay I've marked the length of this first radial here and I'm going to cut it off and I'll use it as a template for the other ones Again, clean up the burrs and radius the edges. I'm rotating this as I'm filing it. And I'm not going to put the vinyl cap on until I finish all four. That way I can use this one as an exact length for measurement. I'll go ahead and finish the other ones off camera. Okay, I finished cutting the radials to length and threading the ends. I'll go ahead and put the little vinyl caps on the end as kind of a safety measure. Let's screw them in, see how they look. Okay, it's ready to try out. I've put together um, a few of the antennas here to show you the, our comparison of size. So this is the 220 antenna. Here's the top of it. Okay, and for size comparison, this is the 440 antenna. And then I also have um, radials and a radiating element for two meters. So here's the uh, radiating element, or the ground radial, and here's uh, the radiating element, which was made out of an old car antenna. And you can see here's the uh, 220. Here's the two meter for size reference, all the way down to the to the glass table. What this one is sitting on with the ground radial. So it's significantly larger. Here's the top of the 220, here's the top of the 2 meters. Anyway, thanks for watching. 73 from November 6 Tango Whiskey Whiskey N6TWW.